if I was to say that I was going to stay away from anybody, it would probably be Tom. Um, I, I played poker with him for five years. He's very dangerous. He's very good. Um, he could have the nuts or nothing at any time. Um, just a very unpredictable player. Despite what Viffer might have said before play started, in this hand he managed to lock horns with the one player he wanted to avoid. 15. Tom had been opening a lot of pots with marginal hands, but this time he had the goods, ace-king suited. I had king nine of hearts, um, I called. Oh, and here's big trouble for David Pete. He has flopped a king high straight, but Tom Dwan has the ace high straight. On the flop, G checked and Riffer bet. I bet out. Um, because I flopped the straight, it kind of disguises my hand. On top of that, when somebody raises under the gun like that, they probably have a strong hand. But against Tom, he could open with anything. Um, so I opened up the pot on the flop to give him a chance to bluff at it. He might re-raise me. Um, and just because he wouldn't put me on a straight. And Guy just glanced a little more. A bad range. And I probably shouldn't have put anywhere near as much weight in this as I did, but I, he seemed a little interested in the hand. Um, and I think it's a close decision when I'm bet into by David there, whether to raise or call, but generally I'd raise. Um, the fact that Guy seemed a little interested I thought pushed it to a call because then maybe he'd call some hands or possibly he'd raise. Hit the hand. And then I called and Gee instantly folded and I felt really dumb. Tom Dewan is going to slow play, however. Um, the turn came a nine, which made any king making a straight. Um, I checked to him. He'd bet a lot of hands there. He would bluff there. At the same time, when I called him, he knows that I probably have a king. With a little over 11,000 in the pot, Durr reaches for chips and fires 7,300. Had to be the very next hand, I think. Three hands later. Viffer just calls. The river comes and it's a blank, and I check to him and he still bets. And I'm pretty sure he has at least a king. And I really wanted to fold because I, I thought he had ace-king. I thought for a long time. And Durr's going to bet $17,600. Viffer is definitely not a fan of this situation. He's got to be pretty sure the best case scenario is chopping the pot. Ain't no good. Tom, you know what time it is? <laughs> See, I flopped the straight. Viffer desperately trying to get something from Tom Dwan, but it looks like he's gone flatline. You buy the bottles if I call and I'm wrong? You buy the bottles tonight? I thought I was calling 17,000 for a chop at best. I just didn't think he'd bluff again. I wanted to fold and I called and he showed me the nuts with these. Nice man. And I really hope that Dave didn't have King Nine or else I'm gonna be really sad and feel like I just left 100K on the table. I'll buy the bottles. You buy the bottles? Nice man.